His Excellency President Barack Obama, President of the United States of America. I am Mr. Minni of Kumanawi, Sudanese from Darfur region in the Republic of Sudan. I am the chairman of Sudan Liberation Movement, one of the bankers movement is struggling in to liberate the people of Darfur and indeed entire people of Sudan from the oppressions and suppressions visited upon them by the dictatorial regimes led by General Bashir. Like many Africans who are delighted to see you visiting for the second time our continent and the first sitting U.S. President to visit the African Union headquarters to have touch base with its leaders in order to get a close sense on what is happening down here. I am very much appreciative of your endeavor and the keen interest you are shown. Having said that, Mr. President, I would like to seize this opportunity to recall with your consideration some earlier important positions you adopted regarding situation in Darfur, of which is the people of Darfur are still waiting to you, putting into action. Fortunately, when you were a senator, you did visit Darfur refugees camps in a strange chat and saw by yourself how deplorable their plight was and become a witness to the suffering of my people. The people of Darfur vividly remember the words you promised them. Like your former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, did so. When you met it clear and called the genocide in Darfur to be stopped with immediate effect. The positions become the part of your campaign promise. The people of Darfur look to that with hope, aspirations, and admirations. You took the matter seriously, for the letter on you reminded the world in Berlin, Germany. And you were bold enough to use strongest slogans, never again. Your re renewed commitment reassured the hopeless people of Darfur to the well. It was also your positions of a no-fly zone adopted in Darfur. That met you in the eyes of the helpless people of Darfur a source of hope and admiration. However, today, unfortunately, the plight of people of Darfur has even become worse than any time before. At all levels, the numbers of victims has increased both in terms of displacement, refugees, and deaths. Sudan's terrorist government is using random aerial bombardment against the civilian more than any time before. The United States of America was inst instrumental and referral of their forecast to the ICC's the justice to take place. But after more than 10 years, the perpetrators are free and even committing more crimes. Mr. President, it is against the background of the above. I hereby humbly appeal to your excellencies to take resolute actions as the people of Darfur are looking at you and still expecting you to fulfill your promise. Mr. President, please don't let my people down. Wish you all the best. May God Allah bless you. Thank you.